to Mimi's kitchen. Well, our fall weather continues. Y'all, it's beautiful. And I'm a summertime person, but I would be the first to admit the break in the weather is nice. And so we're enjoying it. It's the kind you can just go out in your shirt sleeves and enjoy the day. And so it's, it's beautiful and we love all times of the year. Y'all, today we're going to make bread pudding. Now, this is not something that I grew up eating. Um, my mother, uh, to my knowledge, never made bread pudding. And so my husband loved it. So as time went on, he said, do you think you could learn how to make bread pudding? And I thought, well, yep, I guess so. So I started searching for recipes and, um, and then I actually ate it at his house. They had um, a lady that came in and cooked for them every day. And so when I ate hers, then I knew kind of the taste that I was looking for. So in my search for recipes, I came across one and I thought, ah, oh, I believe this is it. And well, it turned out it really was. And y'all, it's so easy. Well, all my recipes are easy. So if you have my cookbook, Sunday lunch at Mimi's, turn to page 70. And right there at the bottom of the page, you will find the recipe for bread pudding. Now, y'all, I have already set my oven. Now, y'all pay attention. 350 degrees. And if you wonder why I'm burning a candle over here, y'all, I cooked some cola just today for lunch. <laughs> and Lord, those things linger forever. And so I'm trying to get the cola smell out of my kitchen. Now, y'all... This is at Pepperidge Farm, and this is the, the Raisin Cinnamon. Now, that's two or three different flavors of this. And so, if your family doesn't like raisins, then just get the cinnamon. And so, um, but, but we kind of like raisins. So, I'm using the raisin bread, and what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this into just little pieces. It's had to pull apart, but... Y'all, it's just so much easier just to cut it yourself. And so what, what I'll do is I'll just do it like this. And KK, you can. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into cubes. You don't have to watch all that. And so we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Here we go. Now. That is that whole loaf of bread. You use the whole loaf. All right, now, we'll just kind of pull that apart. And then what you do is you pour a quart of milk, whole milk. Now, I'm not gonna say don't use 2%, but the whole milk works better. Okay. And so what you do is you just pour this right over chopped up bread. All right, now, we're just going to toss it around a little bit. Be sure that all of this gets in here. So what we want to do is we want to soak this in here all for, I guess, about 10 minutes or so. And that's so that all of the bread is completely absorbed with the milk. So we go. Set this aside here a minute. We just go let it just sit and soak and I'll stir it occasionally. I'm gonna set my timer on 10 minutes. Okay, y'all, it's been 10 minutes. Now this is well soaked. So now we're gonna put our other ingredients together, which is three eggs and these are room temperature. And I use Eggland's Best. Y'all know that. Everybody that's been watching me cook. Oh, that was, that was fast. <laughs> okay. Now, it says slightly beat them. Okay. That's slightly beaten. All right. Now, one cup of sugar. And y'all, I use Dixie Crystal. Oh, I love Dixie Crystal. 
All right, we just mix this together. Oh, break my heart. Three tablespoons of butter. Melted. Melted butter. Don't we wish it was a whole stick? <laughs> but that may make it just a little bit greasy. Okay. Now then. Vanilla flavoring. Oh, y'all, this Watkins is so good. I buy mine at Walmart. How much? One teaspoon. All right. Now then, what we do is we mix this with... And now, I know you're asking, why aren't you, why aren't you putting any kind of flavoring in it, like cinnamon and all that? But y'all remember... We use cinnamon bread, so we don't need any additional flavoring in it. All right, so we just go mix this together. Let all these things get acquainted with one another. Okay. All right, y'all, this is our 9 by 13 casserole dish. We just go spray it with this pan. We've got all that mixed together. Pour it right here in the dish. Oh, y'all, it smells good. Mm -hmm. All that cinnamon and... Okay. In the oven it goes. And okay for all you observant people. I cook on the bottom rack. <laughs> Y'all, it's it's like <laughs> one thing up from the bottom. But everybody, I, you know, it's funny. I never thought a thing in the world about cutting on the bottom, cooking on the bottom rack. It's just what I've always done. Well, you would be surprised how many questions I get. Why do you cook on the bottom rack? Well, why do you cook on the top rack? <laughs> You know, that's the, that's the same thing. So, anyway, so here we go. It's in there. We're going to let it cook now. We're going to set this timer on 50 minutes. Oh. And then at, at the end of 50 minutes, we'll check it and make sure that it's done. Okay? So, we'll be right back. Oh, the magic sound. Okay, y'all. That is our time. That was 50 minutes. Now, I want to show you how you can test this to see if it's done. Just take something that's um, kind of thin, like, like a, now this is a paring knife. And what you do is you just stick this down through there. And when it comes out, see, it doesn't have any of the pudding on it. So it's done. Mm. Now it's kind of jiggly. Oh, y'all, that is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Mm. It smells so good. Oh, it does smell good. Okay, y'all. Oh, y'all, this smells wonderful. Mm. Now, you saw how easy that was. So now, you girls, when you go for Thanksgiving this year, this would be wonderful for Thanksgiving. And so you just got to whip it up and make it. Now... This is really good served with like a vanilla pudding over it. Now, you can make the one from scratch. That's okay. And there's a dozen recipes for that. But let me show you something. Jello makes cook and serve. Now, don't use instant because it's cold. And this is, this you can serve warm. And it's the cook and serve. And I made some this afternoon. And then you put the wrap right on top of it. That way you don't end up with the with that skim over it. That's, you know, kind of yucky. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this cool. And y'all have thought about something when I was cutting that bread up. If you're looking for something different to have for any occasion that you're having where you're serving just like pick up finger food. If you will take that 
um, cinnamon and raisin bread and spread pineapple cream cheese. Now, now get the one that you buy because if you make it yourself, sometimes it's kind of runny. So just get the Philadelphia cream cheese and pineapple and spread that nice and thick on there and then either cut it in like four pieces or stack you three pieces of bread and then trim it and then slice it like in little finger sandwiches and y'all it is so so good and it's just something different and it's great with with all kind of other finger food so it's just something just something different to add now we're gonna let this cool just a minute and when it cools um We'll take it up and let's see what it looks like on the plate. Okay, y'all, when you take it out of the oven now, it kind of has that souffle sort of look. It's kind of raised up. And then as it cools, it begins to settle. So don't think it's falling apart or not doing what it's supposed to do. All right, so here we go, KK. We've got us some served here. And the longer it sits, the more it will... Um, congeal together. Mm. Oh, all right. Okay, y'all, I tasted that. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, it is so good. Mm. I can't wait to eat the rest of it. And KK is on a diet and she is tortured <laughs> by having to look at this. Now, she did take a little taste of it and she said it was really good. <laughs> And so, um, it's just something different to make. It makes a nice dessert, and um, it, it's just a, it's good for, you just think about this kind of thing this time of year, you know. Now, you could sprinkle like some raisins on top of it or anything, or those that are hung up on that pumpkin spice stuff, you could sprinkle a little bit of that on the top of it. But anyway, it, it's good, and it just makes a delicious dessert. So it would make you proud and you saw how easy it was. So it's not much that can go wrong with it. So whip you up one, enjoy it with your family. Oh y'all, it's a beautiful time of year. Just have a good rest of the week and everybody shine for Jesus.